that's cool right there if you just see it a little bit on the corner you definitely can't go overboard in my opinion but what is up you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys missed the last video i removed all the interior dash trim out of my mustang and today i'm going to be putting an epic paint job on it so stay tuned so here are all my parts right here already removed from the car i got them all ready to be sanded down so i can repaint them and the reason i'm repainting them is because i don't like the white and black splatter paint i am still going to be splatter painting obviously as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail but the other reason i'm going to be painting a lot of this stuff is because it was splatter painted before and it got painted over again with some matte black and i believe it might just be plasti dip and i don't like it i'm going to be repainting it all uh, gloss black to match the outside of the car and like i said you guys obviously already know the splatter paint is going to be the stain but it's just going to be a different color so with that being said, let's go ahead and start sanding this stuff. Now, like I mentioned, everything's already been painted before, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scuff everything up real well with some 500, clean it all up, and then it should be good to go for paint. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to wet sand it because this is wet or dry sandpaper. And as you can see, it's building up a lot of paint in the sandpaper already. So I'm going to go grab some water and uh, be right back. So it's the next day guys and the reason for that is because I decided that after I'd washed all the parts off I'd let them dry out overnight so I wouldn't have any water lingering around in the little crevices and what I'm doing now is I'm just waxing grease removing everything that way we can get it ready for some paint. After you get everything waxed and grease removed and you're comfortable with how clean it is you're going to take your tack cloth and just tack cloth everything off. It's just that final step to make sure that there's no dust and dirt on your parts. And then we'll be ready to paint it. Now once you get your parts all wax and grease removed and tack cloth down and you tape off what you don't want to have painted, usually at this point you guys would want to do an adhesive promoter and then primer it before you paint it. But since my parts have already been painted, I don't need to do that step. So what I'm gonna do, and especially since how everything was already black, I'm just going with the gloss black. I'm just gonna be using this stuff right here, paint and primer in one. And like I said, since it was black before, the coverage shouldn't be bad at all. I should get away with minimal coverage, but I'm gonna be doing like two or three coats anyways. And then we can go on to our splatter paint, which is what you guys are really here to see. First coat is done, so we'll let that dry out and see how it looks, and then we'll go with another coat. I'm betting that we're probably going to have to wet sand everything to get orange peel out before we clear coat, but that's alright. So now that I've got all my parts coated three times and I'm happy with the coverage that I've achieved, I'm ready to go ahead and do the splatter paint, and these are the parts that I'm going to be splatter painting, and this is before the clear coat. Now I would also like to splatter paint those circles there that go around the gauges, but I can't tape this off until it's 100% cured out. And also, before I clear coat anything, I'm going to have to do some wet sanding on a couple of these parts because they're not going to turn out too well. Just these two here. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, everything else turned out pretty smooth. But no worries, I'll get them wet sanded once they're dry, and then we can clear coat everything. But for those of you that are here to see just the splatter paint, it's time to get after it. So this is the method I'm going to be using, guys. I got these two sticks taped together, and... I don't know if you can make that out or not, but the more I squeeze on the back end, the more they open up. So what that does is it's going to create different types of droplets, um, like splatter, big drops, little drops. And you can see here I got some paint in my little can, my lid here. So I just dip this tick in there, and we're just going to start splattering it out. You just kind of throw it around. Just kind of try to get the same pattern on everything. Okay. <laughs> That's just basically what we do, guys. Just sometimes you squeeze it open, sometimes you don't. Just try to get it all even and look the same. This is gonna look so cool. <laughs> you just kind of fling it on there all crazy, like make sure you get it looking right everywhere. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool right there. If you just see it a little bit on the corner and then fling it, it makes a line which that's what I was trying to do and I've discovered it and if you guys have never done this before I would recommend it if you're on the fence about it 
I think it looks super awesome and it's really easy to do. And there you have it, everybody. Nothing really hard to it, nothing special. It's just a little time and everything will turn out really nice. It's, it's nothing to, you don't want to make it like perfect. It's just supposed to be random and look pretty cool. So don't think that you're going too far with it. Make sure you don't do too little. You definitely can't go overboard in my opinion, but this looks absolutely awesome. I love the color. Let me know what you guys think down below, but that's cool. Once that sets up, we can go ahead and clear coat everything. Man, that is really neat. I'm gonna be so happy with the way this looks in the car. So there you have it guys. That's how I achieved my splatter pan pattern. So thank you guys so much for stopping in. Those of you that were just here to see that. But for those of you that care to see how it turns out back in the car, stick around because we got some work to be done. Well, everybody, at this point, I got it all clear coated. But as usual, I just can't seem to get this paint to lay down nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and wet sand it all and buff it to a nice glossy finish. And you guys are just going to see what the finished product is here in just a few seconds. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed today's content, smash that like button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And just like that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.